All right, here we are with our apple seed timber wagon, and we are on our way to New Austin to try to complete the Herbalist 9 challenge, which is to pick all 43 herbs. And if you complete this challenge, there are four herbs that you can only pick in New Austin. And today we are going after the desert sage. We already have the red sage, the black currant, and the wild feverfew. And this desert sage will be the last of those four, and it will also be the last of the 43. Now this is where we're going. It's really far out west, further than Tumbleweed. And this is a quick look at the camera settings that I used. These two I have marked. I'm sure those need to go off, but I've been switching them all off and it's worked out. Yeah. All right, so let's get underway. Just gonna make sure I get my core and my bar goals. So I'm prepared for these law men who are surely gonna hit me once I get going here. I'm not going to go the way the map says, I'm going to go to the right and through Beecher's Hope, because it's more direct. That wasn't so bad. We'll just speed things up a little bit through here. I am still a beginner at this trick, uh, the wagon trick as it's called, but I have been over here 12 times by now, so we're averaging about three trips per herb. So I'm getting a little bit more experienced at it as we go. Now on the other side of this bridge is where New Austin begins, really probably in the middle of the river actually. And uh, the sniper starts shooting at you right now. So this is where you really have to start protecting Arthur and keep him covered up by the wagon canopy. This is a tricky little uh, section here. It's probably the trickiest part, the whole thing right here at the beginning. So I take it nice and slow through here. This is a gang hideout though, and they will shoot at you if you hang out there long enough. Okay. So now I'm just going to get on this railroad. I like using the railroad whenever I can, because it's more predictable. And we're going to speed things up. I had a very boring drive across the map here. Nothing happened, but I decided to leave it in because maybe somebody wants to see the route. I don't know. And uh, the light you see is coming from the miner, the miner's hat. Arthur's wearing that. I thought it might be useful at night. And the point to this is First, obviously, to finish the Herbalist 9 challenge. But the overall point is to get the Legend of the East outfit for Arthur, which is a unique outfit, and it's good for cold and hot weather. It's got some unique features on it. And, yeah, that's... I just want Arthur to have this outfit. So we've just passed Armadillo. We're now on the road for um, Tumbleweed, or better, we're on the railroad for Tumbleweed. And I 
had a train coming, so I had to leave that. And we're actually getting pretty close, which should be no surprise. We're going at four times speed. And we're about to take a look at what happened the last time I came over here to get this uh, desert sage. It was in the daytime. And i try to pick an examine here. Now watch, I'm going to slow this down. How did he kill me? The only thing I can think is that he shot me. He shot me right through the bullet hole that was there before. That's the only thing I can think. I, I can't see anything that I did wrong there. But yeah, that's the kind of crazy stuff that can happen when you're trying this trick. Sometimes you you die and you don't even know why. All right. I think there should be some desert sage around here somewhere. It's not a real easy plant to see. It's not very big. And it kind of blends in with the uh, surrounding. The uh, miner's helmet did not help me out too much there. But I know it must be around here. I came over here with John and had a look around. Now that Desert Sage is in our field of view right now, but you can't even see it. There it is right there. Let me just brighten that up a little bit so we can have a look. All right, so now I need to uh, get the wagon situated. I'll take all the time I need to do that. And from the daytime where I got killed, of course, let's have a look here. That looks ideal to me. Arthur's going to jump right off the wagon onto that. Anyway, what I was saying about getting killed in the daytime, it's a two-part process. Pick and examine the herb. And Arthur has already examined it because it's in his compendium. See, he already recognizes that it's Desert Sage, so he's just got to pick it now. So he must have been very close to picking it in the daytime. So that's it. The Herbalist 9 challenge is complete. And now I'm on to Herbalist 10, which is the easiest challenge in the entire game. You just have to cook a lot of food and eat it. Alright, so now, watch what happens now. Right, so what happened there was, I thought I was back on the wagon. So I pressed R1 in order to back the wagon up. But Arthur was not on the wagon, he was standing on the ground beside the wagon. So when I pressed R1, he took cover behind the wagon and the camera angle automatically changed. And yeah, as a result, he got killed. But the mission was accomplished. We got the Desert Sage, we got all 43 of the herbs, we completed the Herbalist 9 challenge, and now we just have a few more challenges to do, and we will get this Legend of the East outfit, and yeah. So if you've watched the other videos in this one, I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they were at least entertaining and maybe informative or useful. And, um... Okay. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to do some more things over there in New Austin, and I might wind up making some more videos of uh, okay. getting some other things. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, and until the next time, Here we go. thanks for watching.